Good evening, Hannah. We are outside of the arena, as you can see. And with us today is the Miss Candice Everdeen. Stop! Whoa. Oh. You're quite a contender in these games. So, you know how the careers have physical strength in this game, but I'm planning to outsmart them with my mind because the mind controls the body, right? And so, additionally, I have a knowledge of edible plants from my mother who was a healer back in our district. And so, I can find how to, ways how to heal myself through nature and what to eat through nature. And in addition, I've discovered that I'm good with a bow and arrow, so that's how I'm planning to survive. We saw how Rook pointed at the Shacker Jacket's nest at to you. Do you consider forming a marriage with her? Absolutely. Rue, although she may be, be small, she's quick and witty and she's as swift as a bird. And in addition, she has a great knowledge of plants also because she lives in District 11, the District of Agriculture. And she also knows how to be hungry, which is something that the careers don't know how to be. So we'll be able to survive this fight together. Strange couple. But now, let's move on to the emotional questions. How did you feel when you saw Peter join their careers? Well, I mean, it was heartbreaking. No one in their right mind from District 12 would ever join the career. I mean, I felt like, I felt worthless. I feel like he thinks that I'm nothing compared to the glory and the honor that comes with winning the games. I don't know how he feels. My heart is just how did you feel when you dropped the hat at the carriers and on Peter? How did you feel when he saved you? Um, when I dropped it on the hive, I have to admit I didn't exactly think of Peter at first. And when he came back to save me, I just felt so confused because I wasn't sure if it was for the cameras or if he was like really in love because I really love him. I really do. But I'm not sure how he I mean, it's a, it's a game after all. You could be treating me 